Hey guys, welcome back to the one run tournament and this time with group C. We have FQ.com versus Fresh Cool Ale, so second seed versus first seed, but as we all know that doesn't mean anything. So let's go. Let's see what we have here and please please let someone please let someone zoom out zoom out zoom out please. What do we have here? We have one push, we have no push, we have exec, okay. Research complete. Job done. And LOD, okay. Captain, <laughs> I think I saw that today already. Job done. Captain exec. And the servant, Job okay. Done. Weird. Is there something else? Maybe a hidden Lita Archer or something? No? Okay. Then I guess no. So there's 240 value. Hmm. I see his plan. He wants to. He wants to up one servant and then another servant for three. But that's not good units to to play with in general. He probably hopes for Immor so he can send seven, or for Wave so he can send eight. That that's that's not a good start. That's really what you ha what he has to play with here. Hmm. And he's glad that he didn't send warriors because I think he would have leaked harder against warriors. So now something that I don't do that often. I really have to remind myself of watching the west and the west and east alive at level one because that's the most important. Uh, hardware, I have to do that. Sense of Furb. Oh. What is he building? One Orc Warrior? Is that everything? That will make him leak. Hmm. I think FQ can be actually pretty strong on 3 if he's one hitting with all creeps with the captain. But I wanna watch this now. But Arc Warrior is dead already. And the Furb is going for the LOD. Oh! Bad news for a fresh Kool Ale here. Because that LOD will die. And it now. Huh? Could have been worse. Eight leaks. I mean, LOD is still like super strong. So let's see, is it 21 or 28 bounty? Oh, I can't even see that. Wow. I should have should have watched this then. Because then I could see it. 
Oh, 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 oh. That is bad news for FQ. That's a harlot. LOD harlot. Really, really strong, and he sent he sent a furp here. And he will probably get a bowman. Or not. Okay, I guess he just wants a scout or something. And then goes for for seven. See. But that fur was actually not a problem, he's one hitting a lot of creeps. Yeah, he's why oh, and he's lucky and wow. <laughs> it's all his units surviving. Nice. Level 4. Ah, could leak here. I think that could leak a little harlot. I mean, of course, since it's a 1v1, he doesn't want to overbuild that hard. So he will probably go for. I don't know, two harlots to LOD. Or one LOD, three harlots. Uh, maybe maybe four harlots. I mean, he has to get some value at least. But he has no chance of holding seven. So what are the options? Like, if you could, could um, hope for a good spell, like. If he somehow knows that his enemy has, has harlots, then he can do something about that. And maybe go for a level 8 cent. And... Yeah, okay. I said he leaks and it looks like he will leak. Or actually, it's really, really close. Okay, he doesn't leak, but it was not that far away from leaking. He sent five. Okay, he has no clue what his enemy has. Like, you you are not sending against LOD usually. You are not sending against Harlot usually. The team has learned War Stomp. I think that's yellow. Yellow learned War Stomp. So if he has units alive, he will he will get a lot of money. That makes Job sense. Done. Job done. The problem with Warcraft replays is really that they are saved on one person, so I can't even see like when he gets gold for slave trade or something and I wish I could see the value and everything. But yeah, that's that's not possible in uh in Legion GT. So he's on five one already. Didn't get a cent here, so Oh, so he got another LOD here. Wow, okay, he's he will hold very easily. And that actually opens up a lot of opportunities for him already because he only needs to add like one Harlot, and then he's safe for seven and he's he's not bad eight and wow that's that's just super strong. Game is going his way. So what is FQ doing? Ooh, he's 6-2. Okay. His opponent is... 0-1, oh, okay, you can see it there. Uh, well, I expected more, but he's, he's actually... He will overbuild. Oh, I think he will actually go for a Hades. 
prepare for level 10 already. Ooh. Okay. Maybe he will, I don't know. FQ is in, 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 not really in a bad spot here. And of course, if he doesn't, if he didn't send five, it would, would be better. But still, he's sending again. Does he have immolation? Well, that, that looks like immolation. Like, why should he, why should he go 6-2 with those crap units? And he will leak here. Yeah, okay. And his opponent did not send already, so he's really waiting for the for a leak and he will spot immolation Ooh, what a good move what a good move and he will go eight i am pretty sure of course he doesn't see that he has harlot and lord e that's that's just very very strong well and because this leak and because he the stimulation you will probably go for two harlots now and not for the haters maybe that was his plan all along but i don't know the and by the way herb commander okay oh he's going for the haters okay <clears throat> i think he will leak here well with two harlots he would probably not leak but well it's it's for eight and for ten already so i can understand Let's see, is he adding more? There's probably a Hermit coming now. Someone call for the doctor? Yeah. And maybe some mass would also do pretty good here. What is he doing? He's sending a furball. Okay, if you're safe. And well, that furb might make the difference. It might make the difference, let's see. Let's see how he's doing. He's not doing that great. Like with two harlots he would do so much better here. And he, he knew the emulation, so I don't know. And he actually smiped the furb? Wow. Now he's upping. Well, he has a lot of lumber, so... And only 13 leaks. Should be possible for him. And he also upped one HP already, and since there's no Furb, I guess Boat won't lose a heal here. Come on. Yeah, he doesn't lose one, but he's on low HP for right now. When it's really close for him. Wow. So he has much better units, but he actually loses a heal here. Oh, and that that auto heal actually baits him into baits FQ into eight now. Without the low HP. Interesting. Will someone send eight here? Let's see. He has he has six one and I don't know what what is he adding? Or is he keeping this? Because then he's actually in danger if, if FQ sends again. And here is Upgrade complete. this building full, building as much as he can and upgrading the king as well. Because he knows that his units are crap for 8 and 9. So he's not building anything. Not even sure if he holds that. That's that's more important. We want to see this the slave master army. How many is that? Five slave masters? Minotaur, a captain and a servant? 
Well, sad part is there won't be many slave masters surviving this. Well, if, if he's lucky, then there's actually three of them surviving. That's nine gold, and if the servant alive, uh, the servant is alive, eleven gold. Wow, he's playing really, really good with this role. Wow, I'm impressed. Nice. He's pushing 7-3 here. Wow. Job done. I guess he's doing king now. Because I don't know how this should hold 10. But wow. Really? I mean, emulation gave him a good opportunity to send 7. And yeah, he, he took it against LOD Harlot. He, he probably didn't know because then he would not send. I'm pretty sure he would not send against LOD Harlot on 7 usually. And he's actually going for the upgrade here. Wow. Interesting. Actually, FQ is, is leading here at the moment. Like, if you play that good with those units, you deserve to win. So he's sending for 10 and FQ is not probably, he's just up in king. Needs it. Like on 1v1 one, one, you can never be confident to actually hold 10. There have been games where, where me or where my opponent was like, okay, I have so good units 10, I'm gonna send full and keep my king on zero. And especially in those cases, those games ended on 10 because it was like, oh shit, that's a bad focus and I'm dead. It's something you have to be aware of. So FQ is just going for, uh, for some king ups and Fresh Cool Ale did some king ups on 7, so. He's not that weak, but as we can see, he seems to be very confident here. And especially since since FQ leaked level 9, he will get much more value now. And he sees that he did some king already, so... Not gonna be in danger of a big send. Maybe FQ is sending something, who knows, but it's probably wasted if, if we look at those units. I guess he gets another Hades now. Yeah, I think that the king gold, the king gold made him get a haters. <laughs> I'm not even sure if he's aware of of the units of FQ. Job done. But I think FQ will be on a better income. I mean, it should be. Ooh, that reroll is a little bit late. I guess it was not the first one. No, it was not the first one, of course not. Because the first roll was, was Egg Captain and then he rolled the Slave Master. The so Arch is now... Hmm. There's the Sand. They're not gonna help him that much. Yeah, he... Should have probably went for one elite archer. So he clears the mass better. Is this this is gonna hurt? Oh, is he even killing one? Ooh, that's not good. He's not even killing one. That throws him back. That really throws him back. Because that's 153 gold for his opponent. 3 gold. Let's see how much did he push? Project training 4. So he's 7 4 now. He was still on 7 3. But I think FQ has a better income. He should usually have. But in terms of value, he should be at. Yeah, now he should be far ahead with the 150 gold here.
Hmm. This is gonna be a heal though. Ah, uh, looks like... Looks like, yeah, it is a heal. Uh, he, he did a small mistake there, but... I think it would still be a heal, yeah. Damn it, okay. Let's see Arena. Let's see how much value and income they have. Yeah, better income on FQ. He's going for 7.5 now. FQ is going 7.4, okay. He didn't have the lumber. So, he does. I guess you will ask him, like, what did you do in 7 if you have LD and, and Harlot and you leaked so hard? He probably didn't await the send there, like, he was he was getting a send on 5. I would have probably also not overbuilt that hard, but... Yeah, I mean, then he scouted Immo, so then I would have built. But again, he probably thought that he goes 8 then. Oh, those main games, that's crazy. And he had no clue what, what Yunus FQ has, because you can't guess Fleet Slave Masters, Minotaur, or Captain. It's impossible. Oh damn, look at that, look at that imp. Killing archers in the back. And he wins the arena. Hey, this is too strong. And that makes him go 7-6. Wow. And FQ? FQ is like, well, no. I'm just gonna gonna push 7-5 as well and I'm gonna pressure you. That's really good. Because at this moment they both don't have a heal and FQ has a better king. So it is not over yet. But is someone gonna send 11? Someone wants some bonus gold? I think you could have made the Hades leak here on 11. But uh, you never know, like, he could have just used his 100 gold to build something and then he's, he's probably fine. But in my opinion, 11 could have been a level where he could have forced some, some more lumber ups, uh, some more king ups, probably. And FQ, FQ is also leaking here, but he has immolation in his back, so yeah. That's that's when, when, both pe when both guys push really hard, then it's just about okay. How much do I need to send to kill him? That's that's actually this game is much closer than than uh, you would expect it to be with those units. If you have units that that are not guessable, then you you are actually in an, in not a really bad spot. Then your opponent has no clue what you have. Like I was expecting Fresh Cool Ale to send eight for example, which he didn't. Upgrade complete. So FQ is going for lead archer now. Probably Upgrade. the best choice. Wait, did he did he push seven six as well? Oh, he did. Ooh, ooh. He will leak again. Job done. I can tell already. Oh, and yellow is building up now. Yeah, he knows that LD is not the strongest 12. And that was probably another... Like, he still didn't do king. He would have forced him to do king then. 
Ooh. He has a lot of lumber already. Okay. Okay. That's a lot of lumber. Wow. And FQ is playing defensive and doing king. Hmm. I think if he if he could guess the level that uh, that yellow sends, then he could try a race. But now doing those king ups. Hmm. Leaves yellow all the opportunities. Oh, he, no, he's also doing king. Oh, okay. <laughs> Interesting. Because I thought that he looks he looks at him and it was like, okay, let's just send 14. Like, he has no value to hold that. But instead he's doing king now. Okay. Or is he only doing some? Only doing some. Weird. Weird game. I mean... If you're observer, if you watch the replay, you can always see both sides, but I would have, on both sides, I would have played this game different. I'm not saying that I would have played it better, especially not with, with Slave Master, but this is very interesting. Upgrade complete. Upgrade complete. I think actually we could have even made him league on 13, even with a lead archer. He's, he's just too weak. He will barely hold. He's just going for the haters and he yeah he looks like he's going for anti 14 with the outcast and maybe later anti 17 with forsaken one i still remember that we played them when we were new and they were like good 17 and now you're you're like okay don't build this crap because it's it's, it's basically much worse than than other units Okay, well, he, he actually does pretty good here. And he might want this, this Slave Master to survive, but he doesn't. Oh no. All the bonus gold. Well, now it makes sense to have one Mistress. Because of the, the spell that, that creeps can miss. But for... For 10, I didn't understand it, to be honest. Well, whatever. Whatever. Research complete. Okay, here he rolled. What did he get? Still a lot of lumber, holy shit. And he did some king as well. And wow, okay. Okay, this is GG. That will make him clear so much. I think, in my opinion, he doesn't even need to go 17. I think he can also end it on 15. Yeah, and he could have probably also ended on a 14. He was still doing king. Like he doesn't have the he doesn't have the value to hold 14 here, even though he has elite archer. That's not enough. I think he had four or something. That's basically not enough. Yeah, he, he could have even died here. 
but now he even shows him that he does more king ups. So yellow can can feel pretty pretty safe. Not taking any risk, he's just saving for I guess seventeen. He's safe. Oh okay, he has more lead archer, okay. Job done. Nine. Well he's gonna he's gonna hold fifteen or sixteen. That's for sure, but let's see if yellow goes seventeen. But still, like I said that he could have sent 11, and if he did, yellow would have leaked. But yellow would have just done king, and I think that wouldn't even make a big difference in the end. So just force him to do a little king, and since he has 7-6 and now even 7-7, seven, seven, um, that doesn't change anything. And he's just going for overkill now on 17, it seems. He didn't send here. Uh, he's going for another Hades. Going for one Hellraiser. Upgrade complete. Well, actually, it doesn't make that much sense to go for that many Hellraisers because, well, what happens if he survives 17? Then he might be in danger 20. Like, imagine FQ would have rerolled into mutants here and he would actually do good on 17. I mean that's why he's probably saving so much lumber. That's 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 ridiculous. That's a big cent. Since it it won't be DD, it will probably be demon to kraken, behemoth to warlocks. Yeah, he sent seventeen. Okay. So his king is bullshit, okay. But FQ can't send anything. I guess he has pretty decent income at this point, but not gonna help him. And he won't clear. That's not enough to clear. What did he send? Okay, yeah, we got we got demon, double cracking, and beer mod warlock, okay. And he's gonna add Probably a frost wolf and a commander. That's what I would do. I would add frost wolf commander now with this lumber. And he sends another warlock, okay. Guess in the end it doesn't matter. <clears throat> but let's see. Here's the scent, so FQ is gonna be surprised by the scent. It's pretty big. Yeah, that's, that's not enough archer well yeah, I don't know, he probably has around 4.5k, but that's not enough, he's still die. Yeah, like, he, he clears nothing. 28 leaks. Ooh, shit. I think even one heal would not save him here. I don't even know if he has if he has full region or not. But that's just too much.
Okay, team is down. Yeah, but yeah, that's that's just too hard to defend. Even with one heal, he would die. GG. Okay, well, I guess you could say that he got kind of outrolled here. And he didn't even have 4.5k. He didn't. Wow. Okay. That was a sad game for FQ. He was pretty unlucky there. Damn it. But it also showed that Fresh Cool Ale had some, um, some weaknesses there. Good to know. Good to know. Okay. Thanks for watching everyone and see you in the next video.